Five ways to remove backgrounds. So first one is with the pen tool. This is probably the best way to remove background. So try to use this method always and especially if you've got enough time for it. So select the pen tool, select the first one pen tool. Make sure you have part selected here and try to zoom, zoom in to your subject. And just start anywhere, it doesn't matter. I always start like at the corner. So you make your first point and then try to make a second one. And while holding down the mouse, you make like this little curve. Then next one, do the same. Hold down mouse and make like these curves. And do this all the way around your subject. So I'm just gonna fast forward this. All right, now once you get to points like these, we have like this corner, just go to the corner and like that. And just instead of making this curve, you can just hold down Alt and remove this curve thingy. So you can start like over instead of making a curve. So like these places, don't need that curve here and so here so if you want to make it like that and try to be really precise on small things like this now once you got the whole path just go again to the first one and close it so now we have the selection and you can just press, press right mouse click, make selection. And here you can choose the radius. So if you have like one pixel, it's going to be like a little bit blurred out at the edge. If we have zero pixels, it's going to be hard edge. So for this one, I'm going to use one pixel. So we have a little bit of soft edge. So this is fine and press OK. Now we have this selection and now we can just make a mask and we have a clear cut of our subject. So this is the best way to cut out objects and I suggest you use this all the time. All right, next one is the quick selection tool. This is good if you have images like these, where you have like these cliffs, rocks or something. And especially if you don't use it like the main subject of the image of your composition. So just select the quick selection tool, make sure you have plus here and just make like these selections. It's really easy. And when you have all, all your subjects selected, just go down here and create the mask and the background is gone. So the next option is the magic one tool. So this is good when you have like a one color background and you have a main subject here that has enough contrast between the background and the subject here. So just select this one, magic one tool, make sure you select this and Want to make sure to select contiguous so we only select that area instead of all the white in the image because if we unselect this and make the selection it's also going to select like white areas inside it and we don't want that so select contiguous now just press red mouse select inverse because we want to select this subject and just make a mask and now you want to make sure the edge is good here so i'm gonna create a solid color here so we can see it better Pick something gray, click on this on the mask, right mouse, select a mask. And you want to make sure to select this one and just go around the edge to get rid of that white line. So that's okay. And now you want to make sure it's all the way gone. So drop down the shift edge to get rid of all that white. And sometimes you might want to bring back some of the subject so you can use normal brush bring up the hardness and select the white color to bring back like little parts if too much of it is gone all right next one is the polygonal lasso tool you can use this if you have like things that are square like for instance this present here you can just quickly make a selection with this tool go around the edge just make sure to 
click at every corner and make your selection. Yeah, once you got that selection, just make a mask. And the last one that is just to have your image. First make a mask, then go to your brushes. And here you can edit like the hardness, how hard the edge will be. So if you have 100%, it's gonna be really hard. And if you just drop this like zero, it's gonna be soft. So I do not recommend using this to cut out objects, but sometimes it is good to use this if you have like little piece that you wanna remove and don't do it for all the images, just little pieces. But if you enjoy it, you can always do this. But this is not recommended and it's just good to know. So those are the five ways you can remove backgrounds. Of course, there are a lot of other ways and these are just five simple ways to remember. So use the pen tool and the other ones only if you ain't got time or something. Music